Hey guys, Wet Movie one back here again for another little out and about video for you guys today. Not exactly sure what today has in store uh, for me, but uh, I know my buddy, uh, the OGP, is on his way over here right now. He's a few minutes away, and uh, we're going to be venturing off doing some fun stuff together. But, I also have this envelope of uh, autograph trades uh, that I have for him. I'm giving him this. And he's gotten me something that's on the way in the mail right now, which you guys will see in a future video. Let's see what happens today. Hit the thumbs up. Well, guys, I came across my friend, the oh, OGP. That's me. And we're in a, an elevator right now. Ooh. And That uh, means it's twerking time, baby. No, what? I can't okay. do it as good as you. I can't uh, do it as good as you. But as you guys can see, we're in Hollywood right oh. now. Oh. And we're heading to a very special location oh. that I've been to a whole bunch oh. of times in my life. Pop, pop in my cherry for this location. Yeah. Well, the first stop of the day, guys, Amoeba Records, or Amoeba Music. Let's head on in and see if we find anything cool. Just made it on into Amoeba over here and uh, looking at the VHS section uh, that they have. It's a pretty decent sized one, at least for, you know, being uh, 2020 right now. And they have a section over here of, like, old martial art VHS tapes. I have a lot of these ones on DVD put out by... Uh, uh, the Martial Arts Theater, uh, put out by also Tai Sang Video. I used to love collecting their stuff, man. I don't know if they make their, I don't know if they make titles anymore or put them out anymore. You know, the, the Hot, the Cold, and the Vicious. A lot of great titles here. You know, like, Mart, you know, Kung Fu wise. The Iron Monkey. This is the one, of course, Yen Yu Ping directed. The same guy that directed the, ma the, the action choreographer of The Matrix. And stuff like that. A lot of cool stuff over here. OGP's over there looking at all the horror movies and stuff trying to see if you can find something cool but uh you know I'm back here just like you know seeing what kind of cool stuff I can come up on 20 bucks with some Star Trek seasons over here we'll, we'll see we'll see what we can find they, of course they have some like you know the out of print section the out of print section over here like uh sealed out of print is uh Robocop 2 70 bucks now that I didn't know that I didn't know but if you guys ever wanted to know what's out of print, you can always come over to Amoeba and see just by looking if you don't already know already, you know? And they also have that complete series of the Hulk uh, on Blu-ray over here. I talked about this one in a, in a past video, uh, you know, that I got sent from uh, MovieZing.com. Uh, I'll leave a, the links down below if you guys want to get it from their website. I think it's uh, $75 uh, over here on Blu-ray, which I have, you know, in my collection now. And this is the old set that I that I have in, the, in my garage somewhere. This big DVD bulky box set. That, that's a killer set, but now, now that I have this one, I don't need that one. But uh, yeah, you can get, it's kind of cool to see this one in stores because I don't think this one's gonna be at Walmarts or anything. Now I'm over here in the comedy section trying to see what kind of cool stuff I can come across. And they do have uh, one of Aaron's favorite movies of all time, Poop Talk. This is something that me and Aaron would probably watch at his house and just have a good time talking about poop. Poop talk. What is this like a documentary or something? It's $7.99. I may I may have to get this because uh, Christmas is coming up and I know my buddy Aaron will love this. And they also have the Josie and the Pussycats 20th anniversary edition here on Blu-ray. Uh, put out by Mill Creek and stuff. 20 bucks though. 20 bucks though. Love the movie, but god damn it, 20 bucks. I don't know if I ever pointed this out to you guys before. Like, certain sections at, at Amoeba are, like, you know, dedicated to, like, you know, Cheech and Chong and, like, different actors and directors and stuff like that. But, like, certain actors and certain directors come to this Amoeba in Hollywood, right? Like, here's the Corey Feldman section, you know, the Corys, for the Corys. You know, the Dream of Little Dream 2, Meatballs 4, Dream of Little Dream. You know what I'm saying? License to Drive on DVD. But check this out. There's certain sections and certain cards that the celebrities autograph. Like, this is autographed to Amoeba. You know, uh, Peace and Love, Corey Feldman from 2016. How kind of rad is that? Like certain other directors have, and actors have done that same thing with their own little cards and stuff over here. But guys, another director that came here that autographed like his, his little card, his little section over here is Christopher Nolan. The little Christopher Nolan autograph that he had going on over here. A couple of other ones too. Uh, you know, Nicholas uh, Winging Refrain uh, right there. This is a, you know, a, a select few of these little cards, like in the director section, you can see Christopher Nolan, man. That's kind of rad, isn't it? Check out what I came across over here at Amoeba, the Occultist Collection, uh, here on DVD. This is, this is kind of cool. 
I got no, I know my buddy David Sterling made this, or you know, made this box set. I think it has like, I can't even. It has two of the occultist in movies in there, and it looks like it's autographed by David as well. That's kind of cool. I never, I never seen these movies before, but I also never seen this box set in person. I, I, I didn't think I was gonna see that in Amoeba. That's kind of okay. And look, look what else I came across. Movie hoarders from VHS and beyond. Uh, this is something that Sean and Danny are, are a part of. I kind of wish I was, I ain't gonna lie, but I kind of want to see this thing. It's like 18, 1699. I, maybe, maybe. I wonder where they got the name from though. Movie hoarders. <laughs> you, are you seeing anything? Uh, well, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get all these or not. Oh, you got a whole stack? I don't know yet. I don't yeah, know. you got, so I got mortuary. mortuary. This one just kind of looked cool. It's eight bucks, midnight meat train. That was okay. Okay, all right. The that was okay. Those look pretty good. But we'll, we'll show the rest if, if, you, if okay. you do get some. I just got out of Amoeba Records. My buddy OGP is right over here. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll be put down here by the piss stain. Yeah, here by the piss stain. Right, right over here by the piss stain. But listen, listen. <laughs> as soon as we walked outside of Amoeba, we, we got some shit which I'll show you guys at the end of this video. <laughs> but this, 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 like, go ahead, you explain it. Considering the couple fucks we are, yeah, with the autograph hoarding, yeah, this dude walks up and he's like, You guys want some autographs? It's all signed to Bob Eubanks, like, yeah, this weird creeper dude, yeah, and he gives it, he like drops it, he just drops, yeah, he just drops right it in front of you, and then he walks away, he walks away, it's like a binder of like auto a supposedly autographed stuff in here. We, we we might we might look through it. We don't know if there's like COVID in there yeah. or <laughs> what the yeah. fuck is gonna be. be a lot worse than COVID in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It was like a binder, and there's supposed to be like a whole bunch of autograph memorabilia. Yeah, no. We, for, we, I, I thought I thought he was gonna try and sell it to you. Yeah, like, try to get money for drugs you know, or like, something. You're not buying autographs on <laughs> some random dude. Fuck yeah. You know, but like that was random, especially to us. To us, of all to us. people, yeah, the, the fucking autograph <laughs> whores we are. We got some autographs in here. We don't even know who this guy is. This, I'm ser serious, like a dirty looking random dude on the street just gave us this binder. And there's like random autographs in here of like people so far, I'm not sure if I know who they are. So, some, some of which are not autographed. Like, does anybody know who that is? This is so random, like who is this? We got uh, two Bob. This is all supposed to be addressed to Bob Eubanks. So random that this guy just like, oh, this is like pictures of someone's like, daughter. Oh wow! Uh, this is, is it, what is this? <laughs> what, the f what is this? Is that Chaka Khan right there? It kind of looks like her. I have no idea, but a lot of this stuff's not autographs. Weird. It's like Weird. this guy stole something from Weird. some somebody. You know, he probably totally ripped somebody off. Or, or it's like it's like people like makeup, you know, special makeup pictures. So was this serial killers? <laughs> Are these like serial killers? Alright, there's pictures of OJ reenacting what he did, yeah. but but to himself. Why, why is this? This is OJ that, Simpson. That's in an alternate universe where his wife killed him. Yeah. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, should we keep this and like you give it to Danny or something? Like, uh, yeah. Or should we just dump this crap? Well, here's look back there. Look at look at that. Like rush hour two. Rush hour two. We got Chris is Tucker. There anything fucking signed? We got some random yeah. autograph stuff, but that's not signed. Son uh, uh oh. Freddy Krueger. Krueger. What's you got any Robert England autographs on there? No. Nah. But that, I don't think I've ever seen that before. This little yeah thing, kind of random, and that's it. I don't know how much we showed of how much we showed of that. What was in that binder? <laughs> but that was random as shit. Random. Random. Yeah. No. Too bad. Like we walked out. We come walking out, and there's this weird dude, and he's standing beside us. And yeah. It's like awkward, awkward. Like we want to do like a little video of walking yeah. out the store, and then this guy is like kind of like too close. It was uncomfortable. Yeah. And all of a sudden, he's like, "You want a bag of autographs signed to Bob Eubanks?" <laughs> <laughs> and that <laughs> random. Yeah. And that's what that was. From looking through a random binder of random shit from a homeless person to a Tommy's. <laughs> From looking through random shit to going to get the shits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our food came. What did you get? Oh, nothing but, you know, the little chili cheeseburger over here. Look at all that. That's a lot of wrapper, dude. It is wow. a lot of wrapper. It's a lot of spoon. What is this? What's this? What's this? this? Is, this What's is, this? We're doubling down on the chili cheese. Man, oh my god. Uh, you're going to mess up your car later, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's wow. going to be. It's, it's gonna be so good going down and so bad going out. I feel bad when I go home. But uh, <laughs> I got I got some mustard dogs over here. We're at our next destination of the day. <laughs> this is a filming location <laughs> sure for is. for a John Carpenter movie. 
that starred Donald Pleasant. That's not Halloween. This may look semi-familiar to you guys. Uh, it looks familiar to me. It you want to tell people? Want to tell people where this is from? This is the building from Prince of Darkness, where they were in there, and there was like. So, you know, spirits from thousands of years ago was coming back and they were trying to figure out how to stop it. And stuff. Yeah. But it was really cool. And the at the beginning, or you know, at one part, I mean, you see clearly the pillars on the front of this building. Yeah. And then down the side over here, they're trying to like come out and escape and stuff. But you see like there's a bunch of like zombies back there in the back. But there's that like, the little hallway with the zombies, the undead. Yeah, we're right, coming out. Yep, right back there. Yep. Yeah. But this is pretty cool, man. This is pretty cool. This is yeah. a little, this is a little stop in this yeah. little adventure today. Off to the next destination of the oh, night. Oh yes, we are. Which is another filming location of another oh. classic film, comedy yes. film, cult film. A very random location. <laughs> so that's going down there. We're at the location itself right here, the Ralph's <laughs> where the supermarket. Hell we go? Where the hell are we going? We're going into a Ralph's where they oh, filmed wow. a, a special scene or two. They did. For one of the biggest cult comedy films of all time. Dude, I can't wait to get in here and check this out. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Dude. So we're at the location right now. Uh, can you tell what movie this is from? You probably can't because everything has changed. Uh, you know, since the movie has been made and they remodeled the store. But, um, yeah, the certain person in the movie uh, would come over. Drink a whole bunch of milk. In his bathrobe. In his bathrobe. In his bathrobe. This is actually the filming location of The Big Lebowski. The dude. Where, where Jeff Bridges would come, get his milk. The dude abides. The dude abides, man. I'm going I'm to cut to some pictures now, but a lot of things have changed. Yeah. Like the walls, and yeah. the, it used to be white over here. and they white, didn't, floors, white walls. And they didn't have any of the doors for the milk yet. That was back before they kept things colder. Yeah, I mean, figure it was, came out in 98, so it was probably 97, 96 when it was filmed. Yeah, and it's 2021 so, right now. Yeah, so yeah, doors were added. Yeah. And, but you can see, it's still the same layout. Milk and then like other dairy products down there. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah, oh yeah, totally. Yeah. The thing is, we, we could we, we could have been in a random ass Ralph's and it would have it would, it would, it would, it make no difference. Known. You wouldn't have known. But this is the one. Outside, you hey, what's the address of this store though? Uh, that's like 1745 Garfield yeah. in South Pasadena. So yeah, if you guys ever want to check it out, this is the one they, they filmed the Big Lebowski in. We're at our next destination of the day, this local bar in uh, Santa Clarita. Are you ready to go in? Uh, There's beer in there? You know damn well I'm ready to go in. Yeah, I'm man. all about that booze. Yeah, and, and I know a friend of mine that I used to work with at Walmart is a bartender here. I don't know if he's gonna be here nice. tonight. That's cool. But let's that's go find. Cool. Let's go find out. Uh, yeah, you got a beer. I got this mixed drink right here, which I'm not sure what it was called. It was just kind of like a mixture of like bartender special. Bartender special. Captain Morgan. Uh, it had uh, Malibu rum. Yeah. And it had pineapple juice and then some blue stuff she put in. There. Oh, it's something! But it turned it green. It turned it green. And my buddy that I used to work with at Walmart ain't here tonight. But this is to you, Leo. Cheers, Leo. Just got out of the bar. Just had, you know, one little, like, fruity-ish kind of drink. Yeah. But right now, we're about to show you guys what we uh, what we picked up today. Got this Amiibo. was eight bucks. The Midnight Meat Train. It just, it looked pretty good. Yeah. Did, is that the one you said was pretty good? Did you say I, I, I remember thinking it was okay. And then uh, Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer. That movie's jacked up. They made a part so, two to that, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And then, uh... Yep, I did it. I did it. Savage Streets. The new edition on blue. Uh -huh. uh, they had the other cover, the other artwork. Yeah. But I like this artwork better. Mm -hmm. So I got that one. Um, You're on a fucking Lindo Blair kick, huh? Hell Knight. Yeah. Hell Knight, this collector's oh, edition. Yeah. And then this old school Trick or Treats. Yeah, that's cool. With uh, David Carradine. And then... Uh, Mortuary. Mortuary with Bill Paxton. So... Yeah. Yeah. I, uh... You, you, you spent a lot of money there, sir. Fucking over a hundred bucks right here, like about one hundred thirty dollars right there. This guy's nuts and out of his mind. I know. But some of the stuff that I picked up before I, I show you guys the uh, autographs I traded with him for something that's going to come in the mail soon. Oh. I'll, we'll show you guys that in a second because that uh, big envelopes over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. But uh, I picked up this poo talk <laughs> or poop talk. It's a poop talk. A, a documentary poop of talk. comedians talking about poop. Hey. And you know how it, you know, it's like a big cultural thing. <laughs> I, and um, I also picked up this because um, the first time I ever saw it in a store, and I didn't even know where I could really order it except for online kind of thing. 
And it's a documentary that uh, Sean's in, Cool Duder, and so is uh, Danny, the Cinestalker. Oh. And it's, uh, what was it called? Uh, Movie Hoarders. From huh. from VHS to DVD and beyond, I'm kind of interested in seeing this because like, I heard like maybe Cinema Sickness and some other like YouTube people in it. I, I'm not involved in this at all, but I'm kind of interested in seeing this. And the title seems kind of uh, peculiar. Uh, uh, yeah, Ali uh, Ali peculiar. Peculiar. Was kind of surprised that I came across this at Amoeba Records. Oh. As uh, in the search oh. of darkness. This is a uh, volume one, a documentary on horror films. It was twenty four ninety nine though. But it's one of those ones that is really kind of hard to come across. And uh, it's a, docu a documentary, thing, what was it called? It came out in 2019, it's 260 minutes. Came across that. And I came across part two. What? That was 25 bucks as well. Ooh. But like, when I saw those, like, you don't normally come across these just like in a store. You know what I mean? And I was just like, well, this one, the part two comes with like some sort of slipcover too. And I saw that these ones sell for a decent amount of money, but I kind of want to see these myself. Yeah. So uh, I got these for myself as of right now. Now we're going to show you guys the Amazing. autographs. The autographs I'm trading to this guy for something special that's coming in the mail soon. Oh, okay. But that's just say I spent about $80 or so on this shit right here altogether. So, but this is this is what we we talked about. Oh, and one thing in here is for Danny. Oh, okay, okay. There's okay, one okay. thing in here for Danny. Okay, when you see okay. it, you'll, you'll oh, know. Oh, okay. Um... But so this is this is part of our our uh, autograph our swappy trade. swap here. A little autograph trade going all right, on. All right, here we I, go. I gave him all these. Okay. For something that you'll see in a future video. Ooh, here we go. Oh, oh, this this might be uh, this, this might be the one for Danny here. Yeah. What? Suzanne Snyder. Oh. Who played Debbie and um, Killer Clowns from Outer Space? Shh, don't tell Danny. Ma yeah, maybe Danny could put that next to his Funko Pops. Don't tell Danny or something. Yeah, I don't, right? I, I, I'm not sure if Danny would give a I'm shit, but it's I'm not it's sure if I'm gonna give it to Danny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but these ones are these, these ones are part of the autograph trade. <laughs> oh, suck it, Danny. Oh yeah, here we go. C. Thomas Howell. Oh wait, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh 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 oh. oh, oh. Paul Servino. Paul Servino. Fuck yes. Yeah. Yep. Love me some mob movies, man. Let's see. What we got. We got. We're autograph crazy yeah, over here. I think it's all me and this guy. We are who is. Yeah. Autograph who is. Who is? Oh. Oh, there he is. My man, Matt Damon, trying to go with the OGP goatee look. Yeah. You know Matt Damon can't pull that off. <laughs> you know you can't. Pull oh that. yes. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Ooh! Look at that! Look! 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 Look at that! Yeah, man, and that's and, signed by that uh, Pruitt Taylor Vincent. That's cool, Malcolm, right? Ma the, guy, the, the, the character Malcolm, yeah. yeah. So, but you know, the cool thing about this movie is I hadn't seen this before just recently, mm -hmm. and Fluffy was telling me about it, and it, John Cusack and Ray Liotta. Like, why haven't I seen this? And so I watched it, and I was like, man, this was a great movie. I really loved it. Been as filmed at that. Um, whatever four aces filming ranch that we went to on the way to vegas yeah so we were just there and then you come home and pull this out yeah and so it's like fuck yeah i'll put that on my wall hell yes. yeah dude maybe one day you get john cusack and oh, maybe really order on dude, it i'm telling you man that would be the shit yeah but i love the artwork how it's like a hand but it's like people the people yeah you know it's it's pretty, pretty like good a, like and then a face in the right here yeah. yeah so dude that's fucking cool man i love yeah. it Yep, I am stoked with my end of this bargain. Thank you, sir. Yeah, man. And you also, guys, will see in an upcoming video when and when the other one arrives, the autograph that I got oh, 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 traded oh, with oh, him. Oh. You guys will see oh, it, and I'll, I'll let you guys know what that it's is. It's on the way. It's on the way. Let's just say it's Nightmare and Elm Street related. <gasps> Shh, don't doubt nobody. But, guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. Subscribe to the OGP. If you would, that'd be cool. Or, you know, Goodwill Hunters on YouTube. Yeah. Goodwill Hunters channel is, yeah. Unfortunately... I, you can't change your name or else I would change the name of the channel, but you can't. Yeah. So it's a go with hunters, but you see on there there's Fluffy Gamer OGP, but mostly me. Yeah, man. Make sure you guys subscribe to him. And uh link will be on the top of the description box and say Wet Movie One sent you underneath his newest video. And uh I actually have a contest. I have it well how late how soon? Never mind. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> We'll just mention anyways, I have a, 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 a criterion, brand new sealed criterion that I'm giving away. And all you got to do is comment on the video. If you go to my uh, site, it's the the, the uh, main video on the, on the page. Okay. So anyways, I'm done rambling. So he's doing a giveaway on his YouTube channel, giveaway. so make sure you guys check it out. Brand new criterion. Give this video a thumbs up. See you guys next time.